So take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just slowing down, coming back to yourself. And place the hands over the abdomen, palms overlapped, spine straight. Just breathe into the abdomen. Feel the belly rise and fall with the breath. Feel the lower dantian. Expanding and contracting. Feeling the body relax from tip to toe. Staying aware of the breath. Feeling the body, feeling the lower dantian. Place one hand on the chest and keep the other on the abdomen. When you breathe in, feel the um, abdomen expand, and then lastly, the chest. And then when you exhale, chest goes down, then abdomen goes down. Feel it like a wave coming up and down. Breathing through the nose. When you exhale, breathing out through the nose. When you feel you fully exhaled, let the last bit of air out of the mouth, blowing it out. And then breathe in through the nose again. Out through the nose. Blowing the last bit of air out with the mouth. The hand over the heart, gently tap over the heart. If you want, you can use your fingertips, just tapping, or if it uh, feels better, just the palm of the hand, whatever works best for you. Tapping firmly into the heart, feeling the heart, breathing into the heart, waking it up. Seeing it as bright and healthy. Both fingers tapping from the heart, going up over the thymus gland, up and down the chest, sternum. Doing it firmly and breathing, staying aware of the breath. Breathing in and out. Helping stress and depression. Anything that's trapped there, loosening it up. Breathing fully. 
and then tapping out along under the collarbone. And there's a couple of lung points here under the collarbone, tapping firmly around there. And then coming back, thymus and heart. Out again under the collarbone. Good for lungs, good for immunity. Back down to the heart. And then relax the hands, palms facing the lungs. Breathe, breathe in the energy coming in. Imagine that you're sending energy in from the hands to the lungs. Visualize a bright white energy and breathe it in. Healthy, vibrant, bright. Feel the vibration in your hands and lungs. You can make a positive affirmation to yourself about having good immunity. Deciding to be positive, our Wei Qi is closely related to how positive we are, to the thoughts and emotions we have. We want to be strong and in our power. Relax the hands, place again over the abdomen. And I've just got a little bit of writing or a quote, or not quite sure what you call it, to share. Um, had this for ages, which I really like. And um, I think a friend told me it was from an NLP course, but it might be not, it might be something else. Anyway, it's sort of about being in your power. And it's, I choose to live by choice, not by chance to make changes, not excuses, to be motivated, not manipulated, to be useful, not used, to excel, not compete. I choose self-esteem, not self-pity. choose to listen to my inner voice, not the random opinion of others. You can place your hands over your lower abdomen again. And just breathe into your lower dantian. And when we bring our energy inside, and not, don't send it out to other places. We can be in our power by coming inside, come into ourselves, into our center, into our power. And just take a moment to ask yourself, where in your life do you fear, uh, do you feel powerless? Because if we feel powerless in a particular area of life, it will affect our energy, obviously. 
and it can affect the energy of the whole of life. So if we stay in a powerless place with something, then we are draining our energy, draining our power. So ask yourself where you might be giving away your power. Is it through your politics and maybe what's happening in world situations? Is it through personal relationships? Or is it through uh, things that have happened that you're holding on to? Whatever it is, just identify if there's a place. Obviously, we're, when we're powerless, um, we often feel stressed, depressed, which lowers the immune system. That's good to be aware in a very conscious way what you're thinking and how that affects. Um, I know scientific studies have been done where they reckon it lowers you at least by 30 or 40% just by thinking those negative things as opposed to when you have a heart-centered place of love and gratitude and all those other heart qualities, which again has been scientifically proven to raise that place by 30 or 40%, not quite sure how they measure it all. Um, but then when you look at the balance of things, if you've got, you compare a stress, depressed state to a love and grateful state, then you're talking about a huge percentage of increase, you know, 60, 70, 80% in your energy levels. So keep breathing into the lower abdomen, centering yourself. And feeling in your heart also the things which you trust, which you're grateful for, which you love, the things which are working well in your life. Whatever it is, however small, however small, it doesn't matter, just find something. and focus on that. And when we put our energy on that, we can start to cultivate that energy and build it. And this is how we can improve our Wei Qi, our protective Qi, using our thoughts. feeling the heart, when we really enter into the heart, we come out of the head, the place that will lead us into more kind of stressed and kind of those thinking decisions, uncertainties. And we can face the present moment with awareness in the heart, with courage, and this is what Qigong and Chinese medicine focuses on. It's coming into the present moment with awareness, into the space of the heart. Feeling the love and the gratitude. Beauty of nature as spring unfolds. Taking a complete breath, lift the fresh air. So in life, we can try to relax 
in situations where we find ourselves powerless. Just try to let it go, just relax. In situations where we have power, that's where we can focus, build. And it's the same in martial arts, it's one of the secrets. If you want to overcome an opponent, opponent and they're stronger than you, you just relax and go with what they're doing and you choose your point of power and then you act when you're in that point of power. It's almost like you give way and then when you feel you can do something, then you push with all your strength. It's the same with music. When you sing, you're just being in the present moment and playing an instrument. As soon as we step into that present moment, it's the same for athletes, people who perform, the importance of being in the present moment, in the heart. That's where the genius comes from. And it's a place where it's not just you. You can allow other things to come through you as well when you're connected to the heart in that way. Just connected with your own thoughts of the head it can be a very small world. But if you're open with your heart, everything, things come through. You feel the gratitude. And the gratitude is something you can walk upon, it lifts you up helps you give to others, give to yourself. Remembering to breathe fully and completely. In the abdomen rise and fall. Seeing the body is bright, the thoughts are bright and healthy. The immune system is building. bright in and around you. Place your hands on your heart. Breathe into your heart. Go deep inside to find your home to feel that safety. And from your heart, connect with other people on this call, whether they're here now live or watching the recording. The timing doesn't matter, we're still connected with the same chi field, it's still just as strong. Think of the people and connect with the heart to the people. Feel trust, building and growing, opening the heart with love feeling grateful for that love, deep gratitude. There's a bright light in the heart expanding from your heart to the hearts of everyone on this call, to friends and family, to the whole world, to every living being.
connected to the whole universe. Connected to your true self. And from this place, visualize everything is bright and healthy, the whole world, healthy, well, bright, peaceful. Happy, harmonious. And relax the hands down to the sides. In your own time, opening your eyes. And um, before we go on with points, we'll just do a, a little bit of moving just to break up the energy and then come back to sitting down again. We just come, bring the feet one and a half to two times, shoulder width apart. And we'll start with knocking upon the gates of life that we often do. We just gently start twisting from side to side. Shifting the weight from left to right and knocking across with Ming Men on the back it's opposite the navel. Looking back over your shoulder. Remembering to breathe and feel the point that you're knocking. Like breathe into it. Stimulate the kidney chi. This is your prenatal chi, the chi that you were born with. And we're stimulating it. And knocking across the lower abdomen as well. Kidneys and adrenal glands. And then bring one hand to knock across those lung points under the collarbone that we were looking at before. And from unity. Breathing in, feeling those places and knocking them firmly so that you're really aware and present in the moment, what you're doing. And then bringing one hand on top of the shoulders, relieving the stress in the shoulders, loosening it up. And this is said to uh, help clear thinking and decision making and that sort of stuff. Come back down to knocking underneath the collarbone again. The other hand still knocking across the lower abdomen. Then back down. Ming men on the back. Breathing in and out fully. Slowly unwinding. Stepping the feet to shoulder width apart, hands by the sides, close the eyes a moment. Take a deep breath in and feel the body, feel the points you've knocked upon.
Feel the changes of your energy. Maybe just briefly, what we'll do now is um, a little bit of Tien Yuen, the segment where we're opening and closing, uh, where we are um, connecting the, um, the triple burn and the jowls. So um, if you remember, that starts with palms by the sides. You slowly raise the arms up. As you open out the lower jaw, the area between the hands, you open up to the universe, and then close and then bend the knees as you come back down. Open. And close and synchronize this with your breath. And in the area out between the hands out to the universe. And then closing and going deep inside. Synchronizing the breath with the movement. And as you do the last one, bring the hands in front of the body, palms facing each other to the height of the elbows and opening and closing from the middle jowl. Feeling yourself opening right up and then closing and coming deep inside. Again, synchronized with the breath. Circular movements in your own time. Coming in, doing the last one. Arms face each other, fingers pointing up. And the hands up to in front of the head and face. Just open, sending, again, opening out to the universe and coming back in to the head and then the upper jaw, to the heart and lungs. Out to the universe. And then back into the head, heart and lungs, and all that area of the upper jaw. And doing the last one, in the hands in front of the head, palms facing each other, knees slightly bent, and raise up the hands above the head. Imagine you're opening, you're opening up around a big cheap board as you straighten the legs. Arms mirror the top of the head. Backs of the hands face each other, forward she down to the head. Face, neck, with the upper jaw. 
Middle jowl. Low jowl. Down the legs, the feet and toes. Pause there. Take a deep breath. And this is just a very brief practice, so we're not doing this in a, in a deep way that we do sometimes. I'm just going to finish it by a slightly faster version of pouring the chi down. And this happens in exactly the same way. We lift up into a big chi ball as we gather up chi from the earth. Breathe in, and instead of taking a long time, we just exhale. Exhale down through the whole of the body. Down through the legs, to the feet, to the earth, and up from the earth, carrying the hands up as you inhale. And then exhale as you send you down from, through the, from the heavens, down through the body. Just do this in your own time. Feel it relaxing and reviving you. And you can pause briefly at the bottom and then inhale as the hands come up. Pause briefly at the top and then exhale as the hands go down. Notice the still points of the breath. Notice how the mind sometimes is more still in those places. Connected to heaven and earth. Drawing the energy of heaven and earth in you and through you. Hands coming back down. Arms face, hands face forward, draw chi round. Place the hands on the lower abdomen. Breathe into the lower abdomen. In your own time, open your eyes and come back to a seated position. So I thought we'd go through some um, acupressure points for, for general health maintenance and for immunity. And the first one I'm going to go through is a point called Pergu. And I think I've done this, just this particular point in the autumn, perhaps. But I'll go through it again. Um, Pergu is um, when you put your thumb and first finger together, there's a kind of a, a lump part of your finger that's sort of rounded, sticks up a bit. And if you put the thumb on top of that, push down, turn it in circles, press in. You might feel it's quite sensitive. Just rub around in circles. And you can also rub with the first finger on the other side. There's a point on the other side as well. So you can rub simultaneously if you want to. And you can breathe in. I'll just read from my notes here. Um, so this is good for headache, sinus, toothache, swelling of eyes, face, pain in the body. It's really good for calming and anxiety. Eases tension in the hand. Very good for the early stages of a cold or flu, sore throat. Allergies, menstrual cramp, 
Um, and just, just got a note here saying that um, if you're pregnant, it can perhaps br help bring on labor. So that's just something to be aware of if you're sharing that with someone who's in that position. Um, anything else about Hegu? Yeah, promotes chi flow in the channels, obviously relieves, clears symptoms, generally improves health. And there's a few other things like dizziness and sickness that I might not have mentioned. So if you just rub around, what's that? Um, I just wondered, are you, are you supposed to uh, rub while the, while the thumb is there? Oh no, all, that's just to help you find where it is. So you go like that and you see that mounded area. And then once you know where it is, and you'll find it, it's quite easy. It's just between the thumb and the finger in that kind of fleshy part. And uh, it feels tender. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's all right. So once you've done it on one hand, switch around and do it on the other. And I think sometimes when we're doing this, it's quite good to have affirmations, you know, so you can imagine that, you know, your immune system is strong and healthy, whatever symptom you're doing it for, you can, you can um, create an affirmation and a feeling in yourself that, that that's what you're creating, that's what you're doing. And you can really breathe that into your body, take it in. So yeah, you can just press consistently or you can, I like to rotate in one direction and then rotate in the other direction. So that's the first point I wanted to share. Um, the second point, is um, Neguan. So, um, Weiguan. So, there's Neguan and Weiguan, and they're on the forearm. So, Neguan, I think, is um, if you take three fingers together, the first three fingers, and you come from the crease of your elbow on the inside. There's the crease there, and then place those three fingers, and then directly below it. Oh no, what am I? Stop there. <laughs> crease of the wrist. I'm thinking of a different one here on the elbow crease. Crease of the wrist. So three, three fingers from the crease of the wrist, directly below the third finger. You'll feel there's two tendons in the in the center of your inner inner arm there. Between those two tendons um, is the point. So Crease and wrist, three fingers directly below between the two tendons. There you go. On. And with the thumb, you can just gently rub around in circles again. And let's have a look. So rub around in one direction and then change after a while and change to the other. So Neguan helps to relieve nausea upset stomach, motion sickness, carpal tunnel syndrome, and headaches, hiccups, opens chest, regulates heart chi and blood, regulates and clears San Jiao, triple burner, calms the mind. Um, Yeah. So do it on both sides, on the other hand as well. Three fingers down, 
in between the two tendons. And the points I'm showing you today are the points which are the best to know, you know, they're the most powerful points that are commonly used for things. Um, so they're really good ones to, to use on yourself and to memorize if you want to, to help people when they're experiencing certain symptoms or try this, you know. So Neguan has a corresponding point on the outside of forearm as well, which you find in a similar way, say from the crease on the other side, three fingers um, and below the third finger, um, feel around between the two bones on this side and there'll be a tender point there. So again, massage that. And this is really good for the immune system in scientific experiments. I think this one, and the one I'm about to show you, um, both of them have been proved to increase the number of white blood cells. So very good for immunity by quite a, a you know, a significant amount. So this is on the triple burner channel, triple chip burner channel, 0.5, I think, way gone. They go on on the inside, we go on on the outside. I feel the same on the other arm. Three fingers from the top of the, from the wrist crease, directly below that, between the two bones, rub around. Breathe in the energy. My immune system is healthy, bright and well. And you can press reasonably firmly. I mean, don't cause yourself pain, but it can be quite effective if you press reasonably hard. Right, and the other one that apparently is like, my teacher when he showed me this one said, this is the best point to know on the entire body. Uh, and uh, this is called um, Zusanli, um, Z-U-S-A-N-L-I, I think, Zusanli. I always remember it because um, my brother's wife is called Susan Lee, so, and she's from Hong Kong. <laughs> I always think, Zusanli. Uh, but yeah, that's just me. Um, so um, this one is... Um, so it's on this, there's your kneecap and then just below your kneecap, there's kind of a bone that sticks out. Um, and I think we go down three kun, a th kun is a th thumb width from there. So three of those and then one kun out. And um, search for a tender point. So kneecap, Knee that's a uh, bone that sticks out, go down three thumb widths, and then one thumb width going out. Maybe a simpler way to do it is just to go from the bottom of the kneecap. And I think between the third and the fourth finger, it's around that area, and just slightly over, slightly out. And you'll you know when you get the points because they're tender. And um, this one. So this is good for, uh, it's called the point of a hundred diseases. It's often referred to in Japan and in China, it's um, called the point of longevity. 
And uh, it's really good for balancing your energy, for relieving pain, for encouraging health and healing. Asthma, gastrointestinal function, depression, anxiety, and stress. Brain function, diarrhea, bloating, constipation, abdominal pain, vomiting, hiccups, appendicitis, immunity problems or chronic illness, fatigue, diabetes, low metabolism, poor appetite, lower leg pain, dizziness, breathing, menstrual cramps and PMS, insomnia, temporomandibular joint pain, TMJ, whatever that is, or is that jaw pain? Anyway, um, and it's just generally a really good point for unity and health. And like I said, um, this points way going on the outside and the assembly together when you when you rub them, you know, massage them together, as in like what we're doing now, just one and then the other. Um, then they have a synergistic effect. The effect of, of rubbing one on its own is more than um, one plus one is more than two, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and do it on the other side of the leg as well, other leg. And with practice, you don't even need to go. You can just pretty much go straight to it. And because I just when I when I do it, I put my hand there. And it's like, oh, there's the tender spot. Yeah, rub around. And you can visualize it like with your eyes closed. And sometimes I like to do it like I'm rubbing chi, you know, so it's like smooth, circular, slow circles are really penetrating deep inside. And again, any positive affirmations you want to say about any of those symptoms that I mentioned? And about your immune system in general, you can kind of breathe that into yourself, say them to yourself, build your Wei Qi, build those positive thoughts and emotions. Because a lot of our, um, our Wei Qi comes from the lungs. Um, and it comes from stomach so in a in a postnatal chi way you've got the prenatal chi you know the kidney chi that you were born with and then you've got the postnatal chi which mainly comes from yeah the lungs and the stomach and um when you think that makes sense because the lungs are responsible for much of our energy through the air we breathe and uh, our stomach is responsible for much of um, the energy we get for from food. So it's uh, both those things that keep charging us up. Yeah. Um, cool. So there's the three major ones that I wanted to share. And. Um, I could just throw in one last one that I don't use so much. This one is um, Kuchi. It's um, large intestine 11. So um, this is the one that's here on the, if there's an elbow crease between the top and the bottom, a crease like, you know, <laughs> if you go to the edge of the crease here, you find a tender point. This one is really good for, again, it's good for immunity. 
and it clears heat from the body. That's on both sides. Well, that's just another one if uh, your brain can cope with another one. <laughs> Maybe not quite so important, but a, another really good one to know. Yeah, so Zhu Zanli was um, this one here, which was the um, uh, 36 point on the stomach meridian. And the uh, Neguan was um, six point on the pericardium meridian. Um, that was the one on the inside. Um, yeah, and this one here was the lung, lung four, fourth point on the lung meridian. So large intestine four, lung four, large intestine four. Yeah, not that that matters, but just sometimes interesting to know what, you know, the different meridians. Obviously, it's the stomach and the lungs that we're working with for the postnatal chi. Cool. So, yeah, you can come back and refer to that. You can also just type into Google, like if you just type in Suzanne Lee or Stomach 36, it will come up with all the points straight away. But they're really good ones to, to know. All right. Um, cool. So just to end with, we just come into a sitting position, sitting upright. Close the eyes, draw inside. And we'll just come back to some Dantian breathing again. Bringing our attention to the breath and the lower Dantian. And visualize the lower Dantian expanding out in every direction. Contracting in again. Just try to feel that place in you. You don't have to visualize it strongly. You just have an awareness of feeling like the attention is there yet not there. And just remembering what we talked about earlier about the importance of coming back to the present moment. And if we can bring our attention inside in the present moment, come back to our center, to our power. So connect with this place and know this place so you can come back to it. A little reminder whenever you need to at any point in the day. Calming the thoughts. And remembering to feel the gratitude and the love for this amazing life. And allow that to build our Wei Chi.
rubbing the hands together, gathering chi. Around between the eyebrows, run up to the forehead and temples, rubbing around. The eyes, sockets, eyes healthy and bright, sides of the nose, airways clear. Hold of the face bright, healthy. And the hold of the face bright, she wash. Fingers and thumbs through the hair from the front to the back. Left hand on top, right at the back, gently tapping. Vibrating chi into the ears. And massaging the earlobes. Down, gently pulling the bottoms. Hands come back to the sides. 